Let's recap. I had a tenant for 12 years. The first 10 years all was well, except for that short stint she spent in jail. But I understood. We're human. Ish happens. Then March of 2020 rolled in and the world as we knew it shut down. Everyone was ordered to stay in the house. Walmart and Target could not sell you food. Court shut down. If business wasn't deemed essential, you weren't allowed to do it. If caught, you were fined. If fined, you had to pay. These were the rules for everyone, but my tenant took it another step further. She decided she wasn't going to pay rent either. For 18 months, she stood her ground. For 18 months, I tried to read reason with her. Ish didn't work. I took her to court. I won. She was evicted. And instead of leaving like a respectable adult, she flooded my ish. I cried. I laughed. I cried some more. Insurance stepped in and said it was all covered. The water damage, the vents that the tenant poured beans and mayonnaise down, the stove that she smashed up. And now we are here, the road to rehabilitate a beautiful home that was in an abusive relationship. This is the road to renovation. We're going to learn, we're going to grow, and we may even mess some stuff up. But hey, at least we'll be messing things up together. All right, y'all. So it is Tuesday, November 23rd, a few days before Thanksgiving. So it looks like we're going to have a little small delay on the house and this is why all right so the loss is I think I shared this with y'all already like eighty six thousand dollars eighty six thousand dollar loss so what happens with a loss that big is the mortgage company the lien ugh, hold on guys hold on the mortgage company is on a check. So the insurance company issues a check. They issued a check for about $51,000. And I have to sign the check. The mortgage company has to sign the check. And then, of course, the company doing the repairs, doing the work. So three people have to sign this check in order for them to deposit the check, cash the check, whatever. Now. It's just a whole process. I didn't I didn't even know about this process, obviously. A lot of people don't know about this process. So what happens is the mortgage company, I mean, the insurance company sent the check to the company doing the repairs, right? Now the company doing the repairs has to then get me to sign the check. So that means we need to meet up. Y'all know my life is crazy and the timeline, I got my seatbelt on, the timeline is all over the map. And then they have to mail that check to the mortgage company for, then for the mortgage company to sign it. So with that, I had to contact the mortgage company and get, I believe it's a loss package. I'll put the right words in, but it's like a loss package. Like it's a whole situation of forms. It's about five pages. And that might include instructions, some stuff that I have to sign, some stuff that the repair company has to sign, all of that stuff. And they also have to send in the check. There's just a whole process. So that's one thing. The second thing is this. So the company that's doing the work, they're going to set up an appointment to meet with me to start, I don't know, picking out stuff, doing stuff to do something. And um, when they meet with me, we've already agreed I'll sign the check then, right? saves us from making these extra trips so um but the problem is the problem is right now it is thanksgiving and i'm about to go out of town for thanksgiving and then as soon as i come back from town i have an 8 a.m flight on saturday you right so thanksgiving is thursday i'm almost like where am i going thanksgiving is thursday I'm going to be out of town. I'm going to come back on Friday. And then I have an 8 a.m. flight on Saturday to fly to Vegas with my mother. Then I'm going to be in Vegas all the way to the 4th of December. And this is, I'm going to Vegas. My company is actually sending me to Vegas for training, for some IT training, right? So this means that I'm not going to be able to meet with them or anybody or sign any checks or to do any of that stuff until I come back from Vegas. So am I to hold up? 
I could be. I could be. It is what it is. Ain't nobody stressed about it. It is what it is at this point. Um, so that's what's happening. But I'm just like, ah! it's like all of this back and forth, signing papers, sending papers in. Um, look at here go. Here go. This right here is the latest stack of papers between the contracts and the estimates and the pro work proposals and state scope of work. That's what it is. Um, and all of that stuff. And this is also includes the mortgage papers that we have to send in, which this document doesn't have a nice, neat title on it. Um, mm -mm. For losses of $40,000 or less, we will require the claim check and the adjuster's report for your insurance company. From your insurance company, upon receipt of these documents, the claim check will be endorsed and mailed back to you. For losses greater than forty thousand, which is mine, um, we will require your endorsement of the claim check, and funds will be placed in a restricted escrow account. Also, they're replacing it in the escrow account so that repairs can be monitored. So they're monitoring repairs. <laughs> Um, it is extremely important that we receive all items listed below in order to process the initial draw for your claim. Um, we will do it. This, the mortgage company will do its part to ensure the claim process moves as quickly and as smoothly as possible. However, we will not be able to release any funds until the required documents are received and complete. Please allow seven to ten business days for the initial draw once the completed documents are received. I wonder what that means. I wonder if they cannot start work until they receive an initial draw. Woo. Um, so we need a claim check with the back signed by all parties other than a mortgage company. We need a complete, fully itemized adjusters report issued by your insurance company. We need signed and accepted contractors proposal. Um, and we need the lost draft claim form. Yeah, hold on. We gotta get we gotta get a quick quick snack or lunch. Hi, welcome to India. Side of bacon, can share that cheeseburger combo today. No, thank you. May I have ten piece nugget? Spicy or regular? Regular with barbecue sauce. And that is all. Just a 10 piece nugget and barbecue sauce, that's all? Yes. Okay, $4.65, come to the second industry. Thank you. Okay. All right. Um. Yep, so they need that, the lost draft claim form. So I guess that's, this is a lost claim form, a lost claim, whatever we're putting in. And the contract is signed and completed W-9. Y'all. Y'all, y'all, y'all. So that's where we're at right now in this process. But that's where we're at, guys. So y'all tell me. Um, I mean, I don't know. I've never been an uh, anxious person when it comes to time. Because in my mind, I just feel like, yeah, this is over and then what? It's on to the next thing. So it's always going to be something. So I'm never in a rush to get to the next thing because that's just going to be a whole new batch of stuff we're going to have to figure out, right? So, yeah, I can, I'm going to, I'm going to really just take my, just enjoy this break. This break that I'm going to have in Vegas with my mother, with my boyfriend, with his mother. Oh, good. This light's good. And um, training, just all of that. I'm just going to really enjoy myself and not worry about any of this stuff right now. Did I tell y'all I'm on my way to get my lashes done? Yeah, that's what I'm on my way to do. Go get my lashes done. My nails are probably going to be still be cat raggedy for Thanksgiving. It will be so cool if the nail shop is open on Thanksgiving morning. And then I can go get my nails done and then drive to Virginia Beach. But I don't know if that's going to happen. So I'm thinking Friday. Friday is all I have. I'll have to go get my nails done on Friday. So that's where we're at right now. Well, that's it, y'all. That's the update. All right. Peace.